Mail Merge functionality can be accessed from both the Web Client and the Outlook Client, but I'm going to show you the functionality in the Outlook Client because it makes slightly better use of the Mail Merge functionality in Microsoft Word. Now I'm going to show you a Mail Merge based upon a marketing list, but equally this could be a Mail Merge based upon the results of an advanced find or simply a list in a, you know, a list of contacts under an account, for instance. So I've got myself a marketing list, which I've called Newsletter Recipients. And we can see the members of that marketing list there. Now I'm going to go ahead and mail merge on the members of this list. And I'm going to choose an email mail merge with a blank document. Now the Data Fields button this allows you to retrieve not just data fields associated with the contact records that I'll be merging to, but I can also, for instance, choose uh, records from related entities like the parent customer. So if I choose parent customer there, I then get access to all the fields from the parent customer record. I'm going to leave it as it is for the time being and say, OK, let's merge. And it comes up with the list to merge to, and Microsoft Word opens. Now I'm just going to merge to uh, a blank document, so I'll write that document now. Okay, first thing I'll insert an address block, and a greeting line. I'm going to keep this very simple. Now because this is a normal Word document, I can actually embed as much content as I want to into the document and create a very rich um, document for merging with. In this case, I'm just going to keep it very simple. OK, let's have a look at the messages. So that's how the first one appears. Um, OK, I don't particularly like the formatting of that address block, so I'll just uh, change some of this so it's not inserting the extra lines. Right, that looks a little better. OK, well that'll do for the moment. I'm going to complete the merge. And I'm going to merge to electronic mail as I have the button to do so here. Now I do have certain other op options for merging. At the moment I'm just going to send it as a plain HTML email. But we could actually embed it so that it's a, an attachment, a Word document is an attachment. But I'll just show HTML. Say so, OK. Now, what the merge will allow us to do is create the corresponding activities in CRM. You may not want to do this, but in this particular case, I am going to create them so that I can see those activities. So I'm going to include an unsubscribe link, and I won't create a campaign. As you can see, it runs through it and it completes the mail merge. Okay, that's it done, and as you can see, it's created the mail merge activity successfully in CRM as well. So I'm going to say okay. Now if we go back into CRM, I can look in my sent box and I can actually see all of these items that have been sent. Equally, if I have a look at my activities, 
can see that in fact the mail merge has created the relevant email activities for me in CRM and it's also completed them as it's been able to send them in the outbox. Now at this point I could upload the template back to CRM which will save what I've done so far. So I'm just going to save that as a template, save and close it, and then exit from the merge. Results Freak is a brilliant online tool which helps you to get better results for your business. It's powered by Microsoft, so it's as easy as using Outlook. Results Freak will save you lots of time and help you grow your business. And best of all, it costs less than a cup of coffee a day per user. Visit us at resultsfreak.com for more information or to give it a try.